Anne Martha Pates was abducted on the night of July 2, 1999. The timing involved in her abduction was just past 2 a.m. Her vehicle was found two and a half miles east of Montrose, Michigan. Her body was found the following morning by a jogger at 7.45 a.m. on July 2, 1999, on the side of Farron Road at this location seen here, 15 miles from where her car was located at on State Road 57. This document tells that her neck was slashed open and she bled out. This speaks volumes on the reasons why a scarf was used in the Delphi viewings. I'm not saying that it is, but I will leave that question to the public. The crime upon reading it was a very familiar reminder of the brutality involved in this man's killings. It is my firm belief that on that very night, Thomas Jerome Bruce was visiting this bar in Montrose, Michigan. At closing time, he left the bar en route to his then residence in Flint, Michigan. Ann Martha Pates was driving from the Saginaw area to the Montrose, Michigan area when something occurred with her vehicle. On his way home and drunken, Thomas Jerome Bruce spotted her by her vehicle and likely told her he could give her a lift to get her help for her vehicle. I called the tip line on this case and started giving them the information as I knew it. I was then stopped by the lady at the tip line and she informed me that this person had already been tipped in. I asked her if that tip had been of recent but she told me she didn't have privy to tell me of the timing of that tip. But I can assure you this. The brutal rape and murder of Van Pates was the result of Thomas Jerome Bruce. The person who tipped Thomas Bruce in may have been a subscriber of mine, or perhaps it came from one of Thomas Bruce's local drinking friends at the bar with him that evening, who heard of her murder and knew the time and direction of travel of Thomas Bruce when he left the bar that night. If this is true, then I must suspect that Thomas Bruce had been a person of interest in their minds since the time of that horrible event. I did tell the lady at the tip line that should DNA have been present on the woman's body, that by doing a check against Thomas Jerome Bruce she would find a direct match because I was positive that this was his handiwork. Now this person Thomas Jerome Bruce, from what I know and understand, is the primary suspect in the Evansdale, Iowa murders, the Delphi, Indiana murders, the rape and murder of Mary Pryor, and the rape and murder of Van Pates leaving Thomas Bruce as a person of interest in the Susan Collins rape and murder and the disappearance of Beth Bentley. Thomas Jerome Bruce is a real-life monster. The kind kids are told are out there in the world, but we never see them. This is the monster, people. Look at his face. Would you know that he was a monster? <laughs>